All right, so here's the Mona Luce keratin treatment. These are the products. Right here is the clarifying shampoo, and then right beside it is the actual treatment itself. And then to the right of these products are the aftercare, the maintenance products, products you use when maintaining your keratin treatment. And just a little background information on the Mona Luce keratin treatment. This is a formaldehyde-free formula and it contains natural keratin protein which strengthens the hair. It also provides a crystal shield to coat the hair to make it frizz free and straight. Also depending on how you maintain your keratin treatment, this can last for about three to six months. All right, so step one is the clarifying shampoo and you're actually gonna shampoo the hair twice. The first one, you're gonna rinse it out right away and then for the second shampoo, you're gonna leave it on for about five minutes and then rinse it out. So this is Lisa shampooing my hair for the first go around. And now she's rinsing everything out just to make sure my scalp and my hair is clean. Alright, so this is the second round of shampoo and for this round you're going to let it sit for about 5 minutes before you rinse it out. And this is so it can break down any buildup. She really stresses the importance of getting rid of all the buildup and having a squeaky clean scalp um, because there is no conditioning process involved. After you shampoo, you're going to go straight to the treatment or after you rinse out the shampoo, you're going to go straight to the treatment. Alright, so after letting the shampoo sit for about 5 minutes, you're going to rinse this out. And what Lisa says the most important part about this rinsing stage is that you need to let the water run clear. The water needs to run clear. There needs to be no residue. The hair needs to be super clean. Scalp needs to be super clean. All right, so step two is applying the keratin treatment. And right here, the technique that Lisa is using to apply the keratin treatment is to part the hair in three sections as shown here. Then using an application bottle, she applies the treatment close to the roots. Then she sections that piece off and applies more of the treatment underneath that section. She then uses the nose of the applicator bottle to part the hair for the next section and repeats the process. So I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit since y'all kind of get the idea. So after applying the treatment to all three sections, she then goes back to the first section and applies more between the hair, working it in as well. And then she's going to distribute the treatment by combing it into the small sections of hair. So after she's done working it in, she's gonna cover my hair and then I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. All right, and the last step is to seal it in by blow drying and flat ironing it. There are no other products being used on my hair during this time, just the application and the tools needed to seal it in. All right, and for this step, Lisa stresses the importance of drying the hair completely.
And after the actual blow dry, I'm going to sit under the dryer for about 20 minutes just to make sure my roots are dry. Alright, and the last step in sealing this in is the flat iron. Make sure your flat iron is at 450 degrees. Lisa said that it is imperative for this treatment and any other treatments. This is what she's learned that the flat iron needs to be at 450 degrees. Alright, so before we get into all that, there's something you should know about getting a keratin treatment. First off, uh, everybody's hair is different, not everybody's hair is the same. So um, you or your stylist can customize the flat iron passes accordingly. For me, I have two textured hair because of my stretched, relaxed hair. So um, like the ends of my hair are relaxed and then the rest is just like a new growth hair. So because of my stretched, relaxed hair, to balance out the textures, Lisa is going to customize the flat iron passes. So from about the root to the middle of my hair, she's going to do about five passes. And then for the ends, she's going to do about two or three passes. So you guys will see that in the next demonstration. All right, if you see a lot of smoke as shown here, it's because the keratin is extremely potent. Alright guys, so here's the finished look. Lisa does an amazing job at flat ironing. So after that, she's just going to put in some argan oil. She uses the argan oil from the brand One and Only, one of our favorite argan oil serum brands. And she's just going to smooth that throughout my hair. And then she's going to seal that oil and shininess in with the flat iron. All right, and as mentioned before, I am getting a trim, getting my ends trimmed, getting them looking right. So Lisa's just helping me out with that. And I think this is my first trim of the year. Um, so yeah, kind of much needed. <laughs> Guys, we did it! All right, we finally got our keratin so treatment. Keratin treatment. We did so, it. These are the results. I even got my trim, as you guys saw. I didn't get mine because I wasn't, I'm not ready for one yet. Yeah, this is a character treatment. The process was so, it was seamless. Like, it was, it was a little bit long. It was like two and a half hours, which is a little bit more than our mm -hmm. deep conditioning process. I think the part where I was like, okay, it's real, is when she put the keratin in and then washed it out. She just put it in mm -hmm. and then she yeah, she let it, it, she yeah. dry it yeah. right, right off of that. Okay, it's not washing out. This, thing, this see, treatment yeah. is like the real deal at this point. Yeah, you can see her sealing it in. And then yeah. Like flat iron. Yeah. And you can see the steam because, yeah. you know, you got to do it on that high heat. So. 450. So. 450. Yeah, so about it, um, yeah, there was no, my hair, I was doing, there was no burning, I didn't feel any burning in my hair, however, Ebony and I both were like, our noses were Yeah, I was gonna ask you, our noses were, were burning. burning. Okay. Like, well, we were inhaling, because we put the towel up on our face, because she didn't want, like, the heat to be, like, on our ear, but, like, I got a whiff of it, and it kind of burnt my nose Yeah, so I'm so, thinking that was a keratin, I don't think there was, it's not like, it was from, from all the height or something. Yeah, it was but just, she said the keratin yeah. is very potent in that, so... I believe that it was definitely like, smelted. Yeah, that was the keratin working in our hair, so it was definitely going up my nose and stuff and on my eyes and everything. That was the only thing, though. Yeah, like, I mean, it's not yeah. like a relaxer that burned. Like, yeah, it lasted for like two yeah. minutes. Yeah, it was just like a regular, seamless process. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm loving the results so far. Me too. Lisa did say, okay, so in about three days, we will have to um, moisturize our hair with a leave in, an oil based, I'm sorry, not oil, not oil, a cream based. Um, 
leave-in conditioner because mm -hmm. during the process she did didn't do a deep conditioner, didn't do any like type of moisture treatment at all. It was just straight up keratin treatment. So to put that in keratin, it was so much keratin that a lot of protein can be kind of drying. So to um, put that moisture into yeah. the hair, she wants us to you know, spray our hair with some leave-in conditioner. But it has to be a cream-based leave-in mm -hmm. conditioner, nothing water-based. Water so a cream-based um, leave-in conditioner that is very moisturizing. She initially told us to kind of wash, rinse our hair out and then do a deep condition mask. But with us, you know how we are, we're like, okay, we just got our hair straight. Three days later, I am not about to wet my hair again, do a mask, and then have to flat iron all over again and stuff. But like, she gave us this alternative. She was mm -hmm. just like, okay, well then get a queen base conditioner and then just put it on your hair and then follow it up with a little bit of argan oil just mm -hmm. to kind of, you know, put that moisture, get that back, moisture back in. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, obviously you can wash it out. There are treatments where you can, you do wash it out, but I mean, you can wash, rinse it out, do a deep conditioner, and then flat, flat iron it again, but mm -hmm. we're not doing that. Yeah, and she said if my hair, when her hair gets wet and everything, and we'll show it in like an update video or something, yeah. like when her hair gets wet, like it's gonna be, have that nice like curl pattern. The curls are more uniform. Yeah, it uniform. It be like a, like a frizzy straight yeah, layer. Frizzy and stuff, yeah. it'll be easy to comb through and stuff. Everything will just be, you know, easy maintenance will be like. So, um, yeah, we're not losing our curl pattern and everything, which is good. Um, so, yeah, because it's not permanent. Yeah. So. And one thing about the character treatment, she did say, like, after you get it done, you cannot put any clips or anything in your hair because she doesn't want any, like, you don't want to, like, dent the hair and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, no clips. Like, headbands are fine. Like, we mm -hmm. have the dry, dry sweat headband. Uh, ponytails are fine. Um, you can't wash your hair for three days. Yeah, yeah. 72 hours. You cannot put any type of water to your hair uh, for 72 hours. And then another thing is when you do wash your hair, when it is time to wash your hair, always use a sulfate free mm -hmm. shampoo. Because sulfates, um, they are very stripping. So any shampoo that you use, use sulfate free because it's not gonna strip your hair. It's not gonna strip that keratin away mm -hmm. because you really want this, you put it in every six months, but you can make it last. Yeah. Like, because we wash our hair only once a month, it's actually working in our favor with this keratin treatment because we won't wash away, the keratin won't fade away as much. But like, um, with sulfate free shampoo, it also helps with that. It's not gonna strip the keratin or strip your hair of anything. Mm -hmm. So sulfate free shampoo, I would keep that in mind too. <laughs> All right, so yeah, and as promised, we are gonna do a length check, which is gonna be this next clip. Um, this is the start of our length check, and then we'll do like a length update video along with the keratin update video. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the beginning of it. There's no comparison as of right now because we're just, we're we're just, just starting, starting with yeah. this one. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do it on like t-shirts, like t-shirts we're wearing because we don't have any length check t-shirts. Uh, we'll explain in that next clip. But yeah, so here's the uh, clip for the length check. Uh, Alright guys, so this is the length check portion of the video. And we don't have link check shirts, we're just using old t-shirts that we're gonna mark on. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is the start of it, and then like maybe like three, four months or whatever, we'll do another link check or like a keratin treatment update video, and then you guys can see how far, or yeah. how long our hair is. Because we're still trying to decide if we want to do another relaxer or not, but yeah. And I'll be on the update months later. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna do Ebony's, uh, this is gonna be Ebony's link check right here. All right, so this is the longest piece, like. So what's that mid bat length? Let's see, there we go. That's our longest what piece. Here is Erica's hair. Alright, so that was ghetto, but it was still it works. So yeah, like, we don't have any there's no good yeah, link tech, check t shirts. I went on Amazon and they're like they stop mid back and I feel like for my hair I will have to keep adding marking it anyway, so I'm just like I'm not gonna buy a shirt and waste my money. Mm -hmm. and no, I'm just gonna, stuff. Yeah. Have some this so I just have low. to save this shirt as yeah, I gotta save this. Yeah, so it's kinda like you know when kids are growing you mark it on the wall, so that's kinda what we're doing. I'm just gonna mark it on the t shirt. And so yeah, that's that link check. And then in three months, we'll show you guys like, three or four months, whatever, we'll show you guys like um, how far or how long our hair has gotten. If it grows. If it I grows. hope it does. I hope it grows. It should in three months. <laughs> but maybe just like half an inch. Yeah, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Have I reached my cap? I don't know, because my hair definitely grew from the last time. I wish we should have done. Um, I know, but this is just the start. This is the beginning. This is the starting. So my hair grew from last time. So like, I, it would have been perfect to do a link check then and yeah. then do it now. Yeah. So anyways, I thank you guys for watching our video. Um, we love you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the keratin treatment process. Um, yeah, I sh hopefully I showed you guys. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll text Lisa. If I don't know the answers, I'll mm -hmm. text Lisa. And then I'll, I'll give you guys the answer. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, we'll see you guys next week. 
Bye.